last night I dreamed. Um, oh, I don't remember much of this one. Um, I walked to this neighborhood. This neighborhood was filled with very old, very large, very expensive homes. Um, shortly after walking into this neighborhood, a police officer um, pulled up beside me. I was walking along the sidewalk and uh, asked what I was doing there. I just looked like a suspicious person in a neighborhood like this. Like I just did not belong. Um, it's how expensive the homes were here. After answering a few questions, can't remember the questions, the police officer let me go about my business. And my business was visiting this woman. I don't remember if she was just supposed to be an old acquaintance or a relative I hadn't spoken to in a long time. She was a brunette, probably about 15 or 20 years older than I. Uh, her, her features seem to be a combination of Joan Crawford, like around the time that Joan appeared in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, and this woman that I used to work with. So I go to her house talked to her for a short while about what I don't remember. At some point she insisted that we go to a park and, and sit on a bench. This park that's near her home. We could sit on the bench and look at her house just a couple of blocks away. Her house was in sight from this, this park bench. So we do and some bad weather rolls in. Just some really dark ominous clouds and you know as we're having our discussion about whatever. I, I, I suggest to her, you know, we should probably get back to your house. It looks like, you know, we're going to get caught in some really nasty weather. And, and at this point she reveals to me that she wanted us to get caught in some nasty weather, that there was actually a tornado warning that had been issued for this area. There weren't any sirens, though. Um, and yeah, we're looking at her house and Sure enough, a tornado, like it was about an F3, touches down near her home, not on her home. I don't think there was any damage done to her home. It touched down and stayed down for about 20, 25 seconds. It was just terrifying. And she just seemed to be so elated by this. And I'm just... I'm. You know, I'm flipping out. I'm worried, you know, the tornado's going to be coming toward us. Or we're just going to see her house explode like a bomb if it, you know. But eventually it went back up into the clouds. And at that point I'm yelling frantically to her, like, come on, let's, you know, take advantage here and just get back inside the home, down into the basement here, you know, in case another one touches down. And she just continued to sit there on that park bench. And she, and actually, as the tornado was, was, had touched down, she was, you know, giving me some stupid speech about how the tornado, you know, oh, look, look at it, isn't it it's so beautiful? It's, it's a metaphor for the turbulent early years of America. And I was just, you know, looking at her like, what is wrong with you? And, and that's, uh, that's all I can remember because my, uh, I think that was all that I dreamed because I think at that point my alarm went off. So, yeah, that's it for today. Time to get moving. <laughs>